Today we're going to go through the larynx model. We first of all have the hyoid bone, which we can see at the top. We then have the thyrohyoid membrane, these stripes connecting down. They lead to the thyroid cartilage, the large light blue cartilage that we can see right here. Below the thyroid cartilage, we can see the cricothyroid ligament, that small little bit of ligament right there connecting the two. The cricoid cartilage is the blue that we can see over here. And finally, we have the cricotracheal ligament connecting the cricoid cartilage down onto the trachea. Now, if we turn the model sideways, we can see that the thyroid cartilage projects forward or anteriorly, and this is the laryngeal prominence, which we would see as the Adam's apple on an intact person. We can also see on the surface of the model the thyroid gland, the tumory structure that we can see down here, and on the trachea, we can see the tracheal cartilages, these blue rings that are wrapping around the trachea. Now, if we look inside the larynx, we can first of all see the epiglottis, this little bit of tissue that flaps up above the epiglottis. The epiglottis leads to the laryngeal inlet, which is this opening that we can see in here. Now, if we look inside the laryngeal inlet, you can see a V. It's sort of a white V with a darkish center in the middle. And that collective structure, the V and the opening inside of it, is the glottis. If I open up our larynx model, we can now see the laryngeal vestibule, which is this space in here. So the inlet is the opening. The vestibule is what it leads to. We can see the vestibular fold, the top lip that my fingernail is touching, and the vocal fold, the bottom lip that my fingernail is touching. We can also see all of the lining here is coated with the laryngeal mucosa. If we go to the bottom of the model, the portion with the rings is lined with tracheal mucosa.